Hi, this is Dean Robinson from DinaCraft.com. Here to show you my latest banjo, which is a lightweight model. This one's constructed of curly maple and cherry. And in a lot of my, or all of my uh, lightweight banjos, I'm trying to eliminate as much metal as I can from these banjos. So I'm taking, uh, taking off the L shoes and I'm turning in this section of the pot where the uh, the bracket hooks all fit through. So I've got 24 bracket hooks and a, uh, a notched rim here. And uh, it's, it actually makes a nice, quite light banjo. I've also eliminated the uh, normal hardware here at the neck where it holds it to the heel and I replaced it with an old school ebony wedge. It's very tight in there. The joint's nice and tight. It's a good, strong dowel stick connection. And it's very pretty. The banjo doesn't have a lot of ornamentation. I've got simple position markers here, pearl position markers. I've also got pearl side dots at 12, 10, 7, and 3. And on the, uh, on the headstock I've got a single star engraved with a um, Vega style inlay. Bone nut, and I have a, uh, a handmade compensated maple and ebony bridge that I use, and a no-knock tailpiece. Uh, I've also got a unique feature to my banjos is a um, exposed truss rod nut here in the in the scoop in the frailing scoop, and uh, it's just kind of a unique thing that I do. At any rate, the, um, it's got a really nice finish to it. It's a uh, shellac finish, kind of a French polish finish, and uh, it's very nice to the touch, and uh, it makes a beautiful, uh, put a, kind of a matte appearance to it. Let's see if we can't play uh, a nice tune called Katie Did. This tune from, comes from uh, Low Stokes. Sounds good. Now I do have, I will admit, I do have a little piece of poem in here. That's the way I like it to sound. I take it out, it's just slightly louder. At any rate, it's a good sounding banjo. It's quite, quite jam worthy. Check it out on my website, www.dinocraft.com. Serial number 11.